let's go and look at this. So what I have now is I have 3 tangent of x divided by 2 plus 3 equals 0. So to solve a problem like this, again, we notice that there's no constraint for our solution, right? We have no constraint. So therefore, we're going to have to either add 2 pi n or you know, pi n for our answer, which we'll all explain again. But now, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, that we need to do is solve for our tangent of, of x divided by 2. So we follow our inverse operations. Okay, now, it, the, one of the more common mistakes that students make is they look and they say, oh, well, we need to get rid of that 2, right? Hot, you know, you need to undo that, so maybe you'll multiply by 2 on both sides. But you guys need to remember that this 2, that is inside the function. So that 2, that's taking, that's the tangent, which is a function operation, that's the tangent of x divided by 2. So we can't just multiply that outside of it. And let me go and explain my, let me go and explain my point. If I said, um, 3x squared equals 12. Sorry. Okay, there's two different ways to, ways to write this. If I write 3x squared equals 12, our next operation is to divide by 3, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But in here, we can't divide by 3 because now that 3 is being squared, right? The 3 is within the function. So you have to make sure you undo the squaring first, then you divide by 3. Does that make sense? The difference in these two, right? Here's the exact same thing. I'm dividing by 2 inside the function. So I can't undo the division until I undo my tangent function. So how do we undo the tangent? Well, we're going to evaluate for the tangent of our angle. So we have the tangent of x divided by 2 equals negative 1. So we need to find the value of tangent of, for an angle that's of negative 1. So we don't have a constraint, but we look at when is tangent equal to negative 1, which we already previously looked at. And we said there's two angles, this angle and this angle, which this one is going to be uh, 3 pi over 4. And then this angle was what we say was uh, um, 7 pi over 4. Thank you. OK, but what we noticed was if we have 3 pi over 4, if I just keep on adding pi to it, I'm going to include this answer, and I'll include the next one since there's no constraint. So I can just say x divided by 2. So the tangent of x divided by 2, when it's equal to negative 1, x divided by 2 is now equal to an angle of the distance of 3 pi divided by 4 plus pi n. Right? That is our answer. And that rather than now that equaling just x, the tangent of x, that's now equal to that angle divided by 2. Now, since we've evaluated for our function, now we can solve actually for the x. So to do that, we undo the division by multiplying by 2 on both sides. Therefore, we're left with x equals 3 pi divided by 2 plus 2 pi n. Because 2 times 3 is 6. 6 divided by 4 reduces to 3 halves pi plus 2 pi n. Cool? All right. So if you guys look at the difference of what we 